I'm Diane Leonard, and I've been asked to share a little bit this morning about my own experience of faith and gratitude while a member at St. Paul's. So here I go. If you're like me, perhaps your church-going journey has been a bit bumpy, marked with a few potholes you'd rather not revisit. In that vein, I'll never forget a priest's advice to me on the eve of becoming senior warden. Remember, he said, when the going gets rough, it's just church. And boy, did it get rough. <laughs> As a relative newcomer to the St. Paul's community, I don't doubt that St. Paul's has had its own share of rough spots. But what has stood out to me since I first stepped into this beautiful space over a year ago is that this community so clearly transcends all that is human. Love, forgiveness, and gratitude, for me the bedrock of what it means to be truly centered, enabling us to survive life's flames intact, are abundant here. So thank you, St. Paul's, for being more than the sum of your parts, for the foundation of holiness that comes through in so very many ways on this campus. It shines in the steadfastness and effervescence of Reverend Sarah, in the combined hard work of this amazing choir, in the authenticity of the many parishioners who have greeted me, my husband Trask, and our two young adult children, Ben and Natalie, with open and genuinely inclusive arms. It glows in the laughter and community forged when we're up with the sun, folding turkey into sandwiches for those needing food and shelter, and in the forgiveness I received when I accidentally lost the key and locked all of our life move shoppers out of the kitchen. It glimmers in this church's commitment to creating a well-organized working structure that honors our time and respects our differences. At St. Paul's, feeding the homeless doesn't mean clearing your calendar, shopping, cooking, delivering, serving. It means you get to choose a small, absolutely manageable task, like delivering some whole wheat bread and turkey to the kitchen, then passing the baton and going on with your day. And finally, for me, St. Paul's holiness also resides in the many beautiful coincidences I've experienced in this community over the last year and a half receiving exactly what I needed before my lips could even form the request. Reflecting on my experiences at St. Paul's brought to mind a passage written by Anne Lamott in her book, Help, Thanks, Wow, The Three Essential Prayers. Love falls to earth, rises from the ground, pools around the afflicted, Love pulls people back to their feet. Bodies and souls are fed. Bones and lives heal. New blades of grass grow from charred soil. The sun rises. This holy love magic is truly alive at St. Paul's. As we often hear around Episcopal churches, many hands make light work. Very true, so please let's all pitch in in every way we're able. But this church community also lightens our load in the greatest sense, collaboratively and patiently, helping us lift our souls. Though I know we too will share some very human bumps on our road here together, I feel genuinely blessed and grateful to be planted here and to be amongst you for this hopefully mostly glorious ride.